Mike, folks, the Let's Play Neverwinter Night Shadows of Undertide. So, Daddy, what happened then when you got the, the mama fight on? Well, I tried to get a farmhand fired. Wait, what? Huh? One of these farmhands will say something to me if I talk to them. Maybe this one? I agree to. Nope. One of them will say something. Maybe he's inside the house. Hey, Dawn attracts traps for again. Can I go in? Thank you. Hey, it's the lady. I can't do that. Uh oh. Ah, oh, what about you? I greet you. Hey, what are you doing here? I suppose Nathan's looking for another hard farmhand. Oh, just watch yourself. Don't go think you can waltz in here and replace me. I'm the top farmhand for his homestead. Hey, w wait, you you look familiar. Are you that weakling that started the fight in the bubbling cauldron last week? You insulted my god in public. What else was I supposed to do? Try dropping to your knees and praying that I don't send you to meet your pathetic god. What's all this about? What's all this? Why are you fighting with our guest? If Nathan judges him to be good enough to enter our home, then you will treat him as an honored guest. Oh, uh, I, uh, it was all fun. A harmless bit of bravado. Eh, right, Barry? No, this brute is a violent, evil man. You should get rid of him. Nope, 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 nope. Not good enough. Not good enough. We're totally gonna get this man fired. And you're like, but why are you trying to get this man fired? And it's, well, you'll see. This man is an evil bugger. He totally did something nondescript to me that has not been mentioned before or since. And he insulted my god. My god I don't worship. I greet you. never did like the way you skulked about here, lad. You could just get off our property and we'll see about hiring a new hand. Uh, someday you will look at this! Especially you, Barry! Screw you. I did a good thing for you guys. I fired this bugger. We'll find a new hand. Ha! So he had child with a dirt with a normal dwarf. And then they had a dirt they of course had a half durga child. Nice to know that in these times, in the world of Neverwinter, that people can look past where they, where people came from and live happily together. And then I can pick fights with their farmhands and get them fired. We're going to Hilltop. Why are we going to Hilltop? Because one, we have a mummified hand to hand in, and two, well, we have things we need to identify and sell, and a magic bow, and We'll probably sell that longbow plus one and we can identify everything else with that. I don't know what we used the shadow heart for. Where's the usual creatures of the realm? Well, we murdered it. I don't know what we need the heart for. We could have used the horns to make a very nice helmet for ourselves if we'd have taken them to the blacksmith, but to in all honesty, no. Not really. Don't really feel like doing that. Besides, I did say I would find the horns for him. Hopefully I'll encounter him later. It's a nice bow, by the way. We will most certainly put it to good use by selling it. Because I have no need for a bow. No need whatsoever. Adorna. Yes. Can I have can I have the item? Uh no no no. I want you to adjust your equipment. I want this bow. This is too much. And the long sword, I can't carry all this garbage. That's and the helmet. Don't think there's anything else really for you to uh Hail and well I'd like to see your goods. I could sell this Lombard plus one for a mere 200 gold. <sighs> Bye. 
Right, sell the chain map. Sell the long sword. I don't need a scroll of Tasha's hideous laughter. If I do, I can get it back. Is divine or arcane? Could need a scroll of that. Don't need a copper ring. Okay, let's start getting your stuff identified, shall we? Ooh. To say that is a decent cloak would be an understatement. I will sell the longbow plus one. We have no need for that. What about this? Not bad. It does sell for 440. Whoop! I have no need for it. Last but by no means least, what is this? Whoa! Cold resistance 20? Forgive me if I hold on to that just in case we encounter some horrible cold related monsters. Don't need a potion of cat's grace anytime soon. Or some acid flasks. Or alchemist's fire. I can always go back and get these. No need for them right now. Um, so yeah. Um, yes. Would you like a better cloak? What? One that might actually suit you rather than me? Have it. Hey, oh. Now you look stupid. <laughs> Tell him he's even doing anything in this game. No, no not really. You could, yes. you could take the helmet what off. Yo, now you look vaguely normal. Unlike me, you look stupid. Hail and well met. Anything particular I want to buy? Flaming gloves. It's a goalless of the ogre. Plus one strength. I want those. I can't get them. Oh well. We're slowly accumulating small quantities of cash. We have half plate. It's the second best suit of non-magical armor. Let's go. I thought I heard a cat there in the game. So we're going to hand in the first of the magical items. The mummified hand. And we have nigh on a thousand gold. Nearly. You can't stack focus crystals. Bah. Drogon's home. Hey. Have you any news of the artifacts? No, I haven't found any. Uh, I have covered the mummified hand. Excellent. To be honest, the artif this artifact was the one I was most afraid of ending up in the wrong hands. But Felman was a frightening villain, to say the least. I do remember something about this hand now that I think about it. It is possible that it might be able to point the way to the other artifacts, quite literally. You could try... using the hand to direct you to them if you feel it necessary. Do you want to keep it for that? If it can help, then yes, I'll hold on to it. Very well. Be careful with it. Its ability to point things out may not be all it's capable of. Alright. Found anything else? Uh, do you know anything about a dragon named... Timofra, Timofra. The name does sound familiar. He is a young white dragon from the Nether Mountains, I believe. Relatively benign as far as this kind can be, but very selfish. Is he the one that's behind the kobolds? That would make sense. He would want, want the artifacts for himself if he ever heard of them. But how did he hear of them? He is a potent beast, Barry, but he's no great wizard and not overly intelligent for a dragon. Very odd. He already even caused me to find his lair in the Nether Mountains and learn more. Must be stealthy, however. Battling him would be your death. Uh, no, nothing yet. Hey, dragon. Well, dragon's color has improved significantly. He currently cannot be aroused to his unconscious. Let's close the door, shall we? Drafty in here. I completely agree. Now I must leave. But, but I just opened this door. Bye bye. 
Right. Time to go find the dragon. You really think I'm kidding, don't you? But no. Time to go find the dragon. Why? So I can kick its ass. Or at least try to kick its ass. I probably will fail completely. And I have nigh on nearly a thousand gold. And a helmet that's stupid. And a heart. Just holding a heart. 20 cold resistance. Thaymart. Opening soon. Oh, it's like... It's like Kmart, except for the Thayan Wizards. It'll be my new favorite place to shop. I have two shadows! Twice the awesome. I suppose I've now got to go and deal with the dragon, haven't I? By dealing with the dragon, it means I need to go to the mountains to go find the dragon. Convince the dragon to let the kobold go free so I can get the statue. It's a good thing these roads aren't dangerous at night. So I murdered an elusive beast. You left your fire going. Smokey the bear would not approve. This is why sometimes I wish I had a wizard. Wizards have that awesome ability to just be able to cast spells. Oh, no, I want to get up here, don't I? Wizards have the awesome ability just to cast an identify item. We just keep resting, and eventually we'll get everything identified. And I wouldn't need to pay a hundred gold every moment in time. Although hopefully, if I get another character with great lore skill, that character will be able to identify it as well. Well, we're nearly at the Nether Mountains. Wasn't that far. You look silly with a cloak, by the way, Donna. Not as cool as me with my peaky hat. Well, there's only one thing for it. Let's examine the mountains. Briefly. Nether Mountains. Well, this is a pretty small area. Cordoned off by walls. The deer. Or walls. I guess this is the only way I can go then. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, there's wolves! Yeah, they probably killed a few kobolds, those wolves. Wolves are good at that. Ah, good solid stone all around. You can't go wrong with stone. No, no you can't. By the way, I can blatantly see all of you. Wolves are nasty. Luckily, we are nasty. Die, woodland creatures! You have no place attacking Barry Coleman. Seriously, why did you try? I am the Beaky Man! Bingo! Fifteen damage. A badger? Boulder there. It's probably how they got in. Isn't it? I'm gonna have to kill that badger, aren't I? Oh yeah. This will be the stuff of legends. We will conclude the video on this, by the way. Oh no! Stop it! You're killing the badger! 
the badger leveled us up! <laughs> oh, the badger leveled us up. That is priceless. I'm getting more strength. I'm sorry, I honestly was not expecting the badger to level us up. That is funny. Also gain a few more spells. Yep, we gain the ability to cast one more second level spell. And another first and two zero. Well, let's put a resistance and a virtue in there. And first level spells. Well, divine favor is pretty good actually. Second level spells. You can't go wrong with another cure moral wounds. And we'll rest to denote that we have succeeded in this endeavour. So, uh, that heroic badger of legend that we just maimed gave us a level up, and uh, when we come back, folks, we'll um, continue our exciting adventures. There's level four characters. Dorna still has more hit points than me. Slightly worrying. Badger of legend. Until then, folks, until then. I'll catch you later.